Hello guys, welcome back to TechDose and in this video we will look at sort vowels in a string problem which is from lead code number 2785. Let's now look at the problem statement. In this case given a zero indexed string s, permute s to get a new string t such that all the consonants remain in their original places. More formally, if there is an index i with i lying in the range of 0 to uh, less than s dot length such that s at i is a consonant then t i equals s i that means we don't need to change the character if the i th character is a consonant the vowels must be sorted in the non-decreasing order of the ascii values more formally for pairs of indices i comma j if i and j is lying in the range of the entire length of the string such that s at i and s at j are vowels then t i must not have a higher ascii value than t j the meaning of this is let's say you have a word where you have multiple characters and let's say from left to right the first character here is e and uh, let's say the fourth character is a now in this case the ascii value of a is smaller than the ascii value of e and both being uh, vowel the rearrangement should give you a rearranged with e that means it should be replaced so that you always maintain it in the non-decreasing order that means you can say ascending order okay now this rearrangement has to be done leaving out all the consonants at their same position like let's say if you had b c d here then it will be remaining as b c d in the final string as well so the consonants will not be uh, changing their location but the vowels may change their location and they should be arranged in the non-decreasing order of their s key value non-decreasing order of their s key value right now if you uh, think about what are the uh, vowels then you have a e i o u and you have capital a capital e capital i capital o and capital u now the ascii value of this a starts from 65 and this uh, small a starts from 97 so you know that if you arrange then all the vowels in the capital case will occur before all the vowels of the small case that means capital u will happen before small a so the arrangement of all the vowels in the non-decreasing order will be a e i o u in the capital case first and then in the small case okay it is not like a will be before b something like this so this is a wrong assumption so once you know about this uh, we need to return the resulting string after doing these two operations and the vowels are given here and you can say that they can appear in lower case or upper case consonants comprise all the letters that are not vowels you know about uh, the entire example and we will be looking at an example and, and trying to solve it i have already shown you an example as well so if you look at the constraint uh, then we cannot solve it in n square because n which is the length of the string is already 10 to the power of 5 so n square will be 10 to the power of 10 which is beyond our 10 to the power 8 one second limit okay so we cannot do it in n square we have to do in the worst case n log n or something better than that these two time complexities will work or something less than this will also work s consists only of letters of english alphabet in uppercase and lowercase so i think the entire problem statement is clear the important part in this case to take care is about the vowel arrangement now let's look at an example and try to solve it if you look at this example i have taken 13 characters now i am just interested in the vowels i don't have anything to do with the consonant so first of all i will be calculating the frequency of each of the vowel characters separately and in order to do that you can simply take a kv pair and i will be taking an ordered map why an ordered map because an ordered map will keep the frequency of uh, the characters based on the ascii value so a e i o u in in the capital case a e i o u in the capital case will always happen before the a e i o u of the small case in case of an ordered map right that is why we are taking an ordered map now i will simply be parsing from left to right i will be parsing from left to right and character by character i will be uh, counting the frequency so whenever i see a consonant then i will be skipping that and if i see a vowel like let's say e in this case i will be storing the frequency of e as one 
now if i see a capital a i will be storing the frequency as one if i see a small a i will be storing the frequency as one because i am seeing it for the first time when i see a capital a i will be incrementing the frequency u i will be incrementing its frequency e i will be incrementing its frequency so we have counted all the uh, vowels you, you can say right we have counted all the vowels now we exactly know what should be the arrangement like if you look at the string here the arrangement of the vowel is e a uh, then small a capital a u and e if you make it uh, go in the increasing order you can say the non descending order then you should have two a's in the beginning two a's right in the beginning then you should have one e okay this e must be capital e then you should have a e uh, u each one instance a e u so this should be the rearranged uh, u you can say string but they cannot be just uh, lying together they have to go to their corresponding position like this should go to index 1 this is index 4 this is index 6 and so on 1 4 6 and so on right so what we will do is we already know what is the expectation we will be leaving the consonants at their own location but in order to parse through all these pairs we will not just be simply taking an iterator over the map which you can take and do it but we will be simply converting this into an array array of pair okay so if you convert this into an array of pair uh, then you will be getting a as the character and its frequency being 2 okay a as the character and its frequency being 2 okay let me write it like a comma 2 then you will have e comma 1 then you will have a comma 1 e comma 1 and u comma 1 so we are just parsing this entire ordered map and creating an array of array of uh, character and frequency right for the vowels now since we have created this we have to simply parse using an iterator so we will be taking a position pointer in the array and also uh, we will be parsing this entire string from left to right let's see how to do that so we will be taking an i pointer starting from zero if i see that i am looking at a consonant i will be skipping it but if i see that i am looking at a vowel then i will be seeing about uh, what should be the uh, character that should be placed here so you know that the character a must be placed because its frequency is greater than zero if the frequency is equals to zero then i will be skipping this but since it is greater than zero i will be replacing this simply with a and decrement the frequency by one and move forward you will see that we will be skipping c and b because they are consonants and again i will be stopping at this a and i see that uh, at this frequency position the frequency of a is greater than zero so i'll be replacing this a with a which is the same and i will be decrementing the frequency and then i will move forward right now if i see a consonant i'll move forward and if i see a vowel i will stop and then i will check what is the frequency right so instead of moving forward what i will do is as soon as i i see that the frequency is zero i will be simply skipping forward whenever the frequency of the vowel is zero i will be skipping forward or you can also do like uh, i mean you can just iterate and see the vowel present and if this vowel uh, is has to be replaced by this a the frequency being zero you can simply skip it to the next character okay because the frequency of capital a is zero now you can place this capital e here and the frequency will become zero as soon as it is zero you can skip or i will skip it later so c and d will be skipped because they are consonants and again when you see a capital a this is capital e with frequency zero skip it take the next one small a and put it here with frequency zero and now d will be skipped because of consonant u now this a has frequency zero so you will take this e replace this with e make the frequency zero move forward this is also a vowel and this frequency being zero move forward this u will be replacing this one and make the frequency as zero now you are done so the final string is b a c b capital a d capital e c f a d e u this is the final string so we are taking the initial string and we are doing in place changes 
right so in this case the first step was to get the kv pair in the ordered map and i will consider it order of one space order of one space because i'm just taking maximum 10 characters so maximum 10 entries will be present but we are parsing through the entire string of length n so the time complexity for step one will be order of n after this i'm parsing through the map and creating you can say the frequency pair array and that i will be considering both time and space as order of one time and space as order of one because maximum there will be 10 entries right because the number of vowels are fixed and the number of vowels that means that the 10 characters that are present in the vowel will not suddenly increment uh, because of the size of input only the frequency will change but the number of uh, number of input will not change it will be 10 right the vowels will not change so that is why the time and space complexity will be order of one now after that we are parsing through the entire string and checking with the corresponding frequency value and that will be order of n again so the third step has order of n time complexity and space complexity is 01 as uh, which is the same as the first step and the second step has order of one so if you add up all the steps then you will get time complexity is order of n and space complexity as order of one this problem is more of an implementation based problem i hope you have understood it let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem we are given the string as i am finding the size of the string so the step one was uh, to count the frequency of the vowels and store it in an ordered map of character comma integer vowel frequency after this i will be taking this in a pair of character integer so that i will be just uh, easily parsing through the entire array from left to right in the non-decreasing order right so you can you can see that the vowel check is here if it is matching with any of the vowel then we will be returning uh, one otherwise we will be returning zero because it is integer type you can also take boolean type representation now in step two i will be parsing through the entire string and also i will be having a position pointer on this frequency pair array and whenever i see that the frequency of that particular you can say uh, vowel is zero then i will be skipping it otherwise i will be checking if the current character is vowel if it is vowel then i will be using up one of the count and therefore i will be decreasing the frequency of that vowel and uh, replacing that in the particular input string and finally i will be returning the input string as the final answer so i hope this technique is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible see you guys in the next video thank you